We've seen the images. We know their names. We've visited these holy grounds. These stadiums and sports facilities that have transformed concrete and steel into something more. These places have been erected as monuments to the games, paying homage to all the athletes who came before. And they allow fans to experience firsthand the talents and skills exhibited by the athletes who showcase their abilities, connecting both the fans and participants to the sport itself. Fans and athletes alike find a supernatural connection, a spiritual connection with one another. And a sacredness is created that seems to transcend all those involved. This is the view held by the sports population as a whole, but on an individual level, the places that fans and athletes find sacred are far less grandiose. The question of what places do people find sacred in the sporting world has always interested me. So I set out to interview dozens of fans, coaches, and athletes, both past and present, and what I found was fascinating. For many of those I interviewed, the relationship of sacred places was less about the places themselves and more about the moments they connected with, regardless of where they were. Many had traveled to the meccas of their favorite sports. Yankee Stadium, Wrigley Field, Madison Square Garden, Lambeau Field, the Rose Bowl, and a myriad of other places that are commonly held as sacred arenas. But as I dug deeper, it turns out that they had a stronger emotional connection to less obvious places. For athletes, locker rooms, bus rides, and flights all held themselves as sacred places, locations where they were able to relax and focus on the tasks at hand. These places allowed them to clear their minds and to get themselves both physically and emotionally ready to utilize their talents and pay respect to their sports on the field. Words of encouragement were passed between the coaches and players, amongst the players themselves, and prayers were often said, asking for heavenly guidance to aid and protect the athletes. Once on the field, this relationship evolved, and many players and coaches stated that the efforts exhibited on the field were just the culmination of the practices and pregame rituals performed hours, days, weeks, and even months before. For the fans, however, the relationship between sacredness and sports was a little different. When asked what their favorite sports memory was, many fans, without hesitation, explained their stories and included details of whom they were at the events with. Some of the deepest and most endearing sports memories included moments they shared with friends, families, and other loved ones. The reoccurring theme of father and son or parent and child moments shows that the connection to the sacredness within sports is heavily laden with emotion. One of the greatest assets of sports is its ability to be unpredictable. Records are made and then broken, streaks are started and then ended, and even the most dominant athletes find themselves struggling from time to time. As fans, we sympathize and empathize with them, as we invest our hearts and souls into the sports we love. As cliche as it may be, the true sacred places held by fans and athletes resides within our hearts and memories. We experience these great feats and live vicariously through the athletes, cheering and crying alongside them. When athletes fall, we help to pick them back up. And when they succeed, the rewards can be oh so sweet. As we continue to witness these athletes perform in person and at home, we must remember that we are continually creating new sacred places at every turn. As fans, we propel our favorite athletes and teams to be successful. And as athletes, we pay respect to these fans, to ourselves, and to the sports we play. Our emotional connection allows us to take the most obscure and mundane place and turn it into one where we find a sacred connection to sports. As a culture, we have a tradition of reimagining and reinventing what is most sacred in the sports that we watch. And it is through success and emotion that these places become sacred. And the words, I was there. I remember where I was when. And this is where I take on a whole new meaning.